Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to lunch with a girlfriend. So I thought I would show you the makeup that I'm wearing and I'm just sitting in my office and I'm just doing my makeup. This is my favorite spot to do my makeup. I've got my big window right here. I can see our pond and yeah. So I'm just putting a little bit of makeup on. I do want to do a something a little bit more elevated today just because I'm going out to lunch with a girlfriend and I just want to be a little bit pretty today. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. So if you want to get ready with me, you can grab your makeup and do your makeup with me. Um, a lot of these products are just going to be from my favorites video. If you watch that, I mean, it's basically going to be like the same products from that video, but I thought I would just go and show you the look that I'm doing when I want to look more put together. So I am actually just drinking a ton of water. I'm probably going to have wine at lunch, so I'm trying to stay hydrated. I also did a 5 a.m. workout this morning, so I'm donning the infamous sleek, dirty bun because that's all that I can muster right now. Drinking water, and let's get into it. So, before I started filming, I applied this Danessa Myricks Smooth Effects mattifying and refining gel. I thought this would be a good day to kind of test this out. Um, we are going to be probably outside and then also after lunch later on this evening, my son has a carnival at his school. So I'm really needing my makeup to last. We're going to be outside. It's not too, too hot today. It's actually quite nice, but I just want to make sure that my makeup lasts. So that's what I have on my face with my SPF. And then um, I also applied my Sigma Renew Lip Oil and Hush on my lips. So that's all I've done so far. I'm just kind of letting this primer really sink in. It feels like it's ready to go. All right. So for foundation, I do want a little bit more coverage because I'm dealing with a breakout on my chin. So annoying. Um, so I was originally just going to do Mac face and body, but I feel like I just want a little bit something extra. I also have a ton of redness right here. My skin is having a little bit of a moment right now, so I want a little bit more coverage. Um, so I think I'm going to mix in some of my Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover to add some more coverage. I'm going to apply a little bit of face and body to my hand. This is in the shade N2. I don't have too much of a self-tan on right now, so it should be pretty good. And then I use the Danessa Myricks in the shade 4. I'm going to take like half a pump of Danessa Myricks. Mix those together because I don't want anything too heavy. Even though I am wanting more coverage, I still want to keep the base very light. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques sponge and blend this out. I actually um, I bought a two-pack of these the other day, and I haven't used this sponge in... A while I've just been using other sponges and I forgot how much I love this sponge it's so good gosh this combo looks so beautiful I am actually just gonna use whatever's left over on my hand I'm gonna use that as under eye concealer all right I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight into powder I'm actually gonna skip cream bronzer today because I'm trying to keep the number of products on my face pretty minimal. Um, I just find, I don't know, I just don't want a ton of makeup on my face. So I'm actually going to set my face or set my under eyes and my T-zone with the 14E Aloe Nourish Prime and Set. I've been loving this powder. Um, I love my Danessa Myricks, but I'm wanting something a little bit more mattifying and a little bit more smoothing because I'm dealing with a lot of texture right now. And yeah, so I'm going to take it on a Mario EF1, which is this nice, smaller, fluffy brush. And then just press that powder. And I like using a smaller brush because I can really buff the powder into the skin. Only thing I don't like about this powder is that it does make my under eyes look a little bit dark. Even though it is a translucent powder, I feel like it really darkens my under eye. Something about the powder mixing with the 
foundation or concealer that I have under my under my eyes. It um. I almost kind of think of it as like when you add water to a powder, how it makes it look darker. That's kind of the, kind of what happens. And I don't know how to prevent that. I'm going to take a little bit of this powder on a larger brush. Just take it a little bit down my neck where I applied a little bit of foundation just to set that down so it's not too creamy and tacky. Alright, so just for a little bit more coverage on the face, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is in NW25. And I'm just going to press that with a large brush just to get a little bit more coverage. Alright, so let's do some highlighter. And I actually wanted to use the new Hourglass lighting edit palette for this um i'm gonna take the universe unlocked because i like the highlighter in this palette the best it's their strobe powder in the shade solar strobe light this one right here apply this right to this little outer pocket and up towards my forehead actually i kind of want to take a little bit of this this is radiant What's it called? Radiant Light. It's their, one of their finishing powders, which I actually have this in another palette, but since it's in here, I'll apply a little bit of that too. This one's a little bit more of a softer finish. It's not quite as glittery. Not that the other one is really glittery. It's just not as intense. All right, and then for bronzer, I'm just going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in medium tan. I am almost out of this. And I'm going to take it on my favorite Elima Pure Soft Focus brush. This is my favorite powder bronzer brush. Maybe I'll take a little bit of... What is this? Glistening Bronze Light. This bronzer right here. I'll take a little bit of that. And I'm kind of keeping it like really tight to my eye as well. I don't know. We're just playing today. I just want to do some kind of light glam. I'm also going to take a little bit of my MAC bronzer because it's not shimmery. I don't want to take a shimmery bronzer on my nose. And where's my brush? Let's use this guy. Take on a small brush down my nose just to define that a little bit. A little under my bottom lip. For blush, whoops. For blush, I think I'm going to dip back into this Hourglass palette and take this shade, which is Luminous Rose. Pop that right on the apples, a little on the nose. Let's do some brows. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Freeze. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use that first. I'm gonna take my little Rare Beauty spoolie that comes with their brow powder. I just dip it in there. Just comb it through my brows. Try and get every single hair. Alright, and then... I'm going to take the brow powder. This is the Rare Shape and Fill Duo. I'm using this in the shade Taupe today. I usually use Soft Brown, which I think that might be over there. But I go between Taupe and Soft Brown. They both work, honestly. Um, so I'm going to use a little brush that comes with it. And I mainly use this one. not gonna obsess over the brows that's as good as they're gonna get today so for the eyes I actually wanted to do something on my eyes for a change um, I was thinking of just doing like a really simple one-and-done eye look 
feeling kind of tight around my mouth. That 14E powder is very mattifying, which is nice, but a little tight. Um, I was thinking of using one of my cream eyeshadows. I, of course, have my Dennis Myricks Celebration Color Fix. I think I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Vintage Selection. I just think this will be nice kind of all over shade. I don't want to do too much on the eyes, but I want to do something. Actually, I'm sorry I'm hopping around. I'm going to go into the Hourglass Bronzer. It's a little bit darker. Pick that up. Okay, and then take a smaller brush, pick up that bronzer, run that on my lower lash line. Actually, maybe I'll take this strobe powder from the Unlocked palette, right? Yeah, Unlocked. Apply that on my lids. I'm going to give my face a little bit of a spray with the Hourglass Veil Soft soft Focus Setting Spray. I'm feeling really dry. Just a little bit. This spray is really intense. And sometimes it can make me look a little too dewy. My legs are falling asleep. All right, Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of liner just right in this outer corner. And for that, I'm gonna take, ooh, actually, I'm gonna use Color Fix. I was gonna use a pencil, but I just really wanna use this. So I'm just gonna apply this to the back of my hand. This is Danessa Myers Color Fix in Celebration. One of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. And I'm just going to take it on this small angled brush. And I've actually been preferring to do this after I apply mas my mascara so that I can kind of see where my lashes are and just follow like the natural angle of my lashes so that it looks the most natural. just like that so that you can kind of see it just makes this outer corner look a little bit more thick I feel like when I do it this way I can actually see the angle at which I need to do my liner sometimes if I do it before mascara I either do it too flat or too high or just the angle's never right and I feel like when I do it this way it's kind of foolproof. I know exactly where to put the liner. For the lip, I'm gonna do, where did it go? I think it fell. Oh, it did, it fell. All right, I'm gonna do Mineral Fusion Graceful. keep it really easy I'm just gonna do my Sigma gloss on top and that is it for the makeup this is very similar to a lot of makeup looks that I've done in the past this is just kind of like my formula for a very natural glam I did use some new products today but basically every time I do a very natural soft glam look this is what I go for. Little wing on the eyes, lots of lashes, bold brows, freckles, and a glossy lip. I mean, can't go wrong with any of that. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I loved just sitting here in front of my window and just doing makeup and like not having the full thing. I really need to do this more often on my channel. I just feel like for me, I put so much pressure on myself when I'm filming videos. Like, it has to be such high quality. The lighting has to be so perfect. And I have to use my DSLR and have the nice microphone and just have all these different things. And I just kind of miss just doing something just super chill. And I don't know. It's just, 
it's nice to kind of take a break from the full on thing and I just like sitting and chatting with y'all. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord, of every song we sing.